Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. In today's video, it's gonna be all about NFC keychain tags. So NFC tags are like a little tag that we can put in our keychain molds or even our acrylic blanks. And if somebody puts a newer phone up to that tag, they can pull up like a whole digital business card. So if you are at a craft show or if you're out and about, if you're at a vendor event, wherever you're at and you want somebody to pull up your digital business card, you can do so through these keychains. This is also a great idea to send to your customers as free gifts with their tumblers and all kinds of fun things you can do with these. So you're gonna find all the products that you see in this video linked down below in the description box. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are going to start with the app NFC Tools. I downloaded this from the App Store and this app goes with the NFC tags that I will link down below. Once we're in the app, we're gonna click on Write. Then we will click on Add Record. This is what we're going to assign to our NFC chip. I'm gonna click on Link. And in this spot, I'm going to assign my link tree. So my link tree is something that I created. Um, if you just Google link tree, it'll take you to their website. And on your link tree, you can insert all the links to all your social media and your websites. So they all show up in one place on one link. So I usually access mine through my Instagram because I have it linked in my Instagram. I'll open it up in a browser and I will copy that link that, that link. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to go back to my NFC tools app and I'm going to paste it in that text field. I'm having a little bit of a problem here because I've got gloves on. <laughs> um, but you could put any link here that you want. If you just want to put your website or your Facebook group or whatever the case may be. Then I'm going to hit, I think it's next or something or add. And then I am going to grab my chip. I'm just going to set it on my workspace for now. We're gonna pick our phone back up and we are going to click on write. Once we click on write, it's going to prompt you to put your phone near the chip. Once it's successfully written the link to that chip, it's going to make a little blue check mark and now we're ready to go. Now that white chip will hold your link, whatever link you want in there. You can also just put in social media or whatever you want. Um, so when you hold your phone to the chip, you see that little prompt that automatically comes up. That's gonna take you to the link that you wrote to the chip. And anybody can do this on their phone as long as they have a newer iphone or android phone so the phone has to have an nfc reader installed already and most newer phones past like an iphone 7 i think will have this um so it's i think it's easier than a qr code because they don't have to bring up their camera and it's nice and sleek because you can hide this into any kind of keychain without having to have the qr code visible so i think this is a really cool option for a digital business card now that I have my chip written, I'm going to add it into my keychain. So I have a two inch square acrylic blank that I've already sanded to prep and I'm gonna clean it off with some rubbing alcohol, leaving the protective paper on one side of it because I'm not ready to take that off yet. Uh, and I've got some UV resin from Resin Rockers and I'm gonna mix in some white epoxy dye. I wanna hide this white chip in between two layers of white epoxy. If you wanted to just paint your acrylic blank white or put some white vinyl there instead to make your life easier, you probably could have done that. I just didn't think to do that, I don't know why. Uh, but this is some white epoxy dye that I'm mixing in with my UV resin. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way, although I somehow managed to not add enough. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm just going to apply this to the front side of my blank here. 
You're gonna spread this on similarly to how you would frost a cookie. Then I like to let it sit for a couple minutes just so everything can settle and even out. I'll hit it with my torch to pop any bubbles and then I'll set it under my UV light for at least 60 seconds to cure. Now I'm ready to attach my NFC tag. If you wanted to just glue it at this point and then apply the UV resin over, you could also do that. I'm going to be dyeing this layer of epoxy white as well in the same way that I dyed the first layer white with this epoxy dye. I'm gonna mix that in really well and then just kind of set a small amount under the NFC tag to anchor it and then we'll apply a layer over it and cure for at least 60 seconds. Mine took a solid three minutes. You wanna make sure that that light is gotten in underneath the NFC tag as well. Once again, after I spread the UV resin on, I will let it sit for a couple minutes to even itself out, hit it with my torch really quickly, and then put it under my UV light for at least 90 seconds. Once that layer is dry, I am going to take another about 10 milliliters of the UV resin. This time I'm mixing in some glitter. This is perfectly pink from Maestro Creations. I will have a link and a discount code for this down below in the description box. And we're gonna spread this on in the same way as we did the last two layers. This time we wanna make sure we really get it nice and smooth and pretty. So again, I let this sit for a couple minutes before I cure it under the light just to make sure everything has kind of had a chance to smooth itself out. Once my glitter layer was fully dry, I went around with my craft knife and scraped off any excess resin from the edges of my acrylic blank. If your glitter layer wasn't completely smooth, you may need to do another top coat of UV resin over it just to get it super glossy. This last layer would be less than a dime size amount. Spread it on like you normally would and put it under the light to dry for a couple minutes. Now that we're done with the glitter side, I'm gonna work on what will be the front side of my keychain. So I'm going to remove the remaining protective paper and we want to sand to prep that surface and then clean it with some rubbing alcohol, which I forgot to film. <laughs> and I've already cut my vinyl. Now I wanna make it really clear that I already have a tutorial on how to cut vinyl like this with a similar design as this um, in a previous tutorial that I did and I will link that in the description box down below. You don't need a file for a keychain like this because this is just a two by two inch square. So in Cricut Design Space, you can use the shapes feature to pull up a two inch square. Um, that's what I cut the floral vinyl from. And then I cut my logo with an offset and I sliced the offset layer from the square floral layer. I hope that all makes sense. Again, I did a tutorial on it a long time ago. <laughs> I'll link it down below. Uh, and so we're just gonna apply that to the front. You might have a little bit of overhang with your vinyl, which is totally fine. You just wanna go around and clean that up with your craft knife by running it along the edge of your blank. I also like to take a 120 grit sanding block and really smooth out those edges and make sure that vinyl comes completely flush with the edge and there's no overhang. Done with our vinyl, I'm going to seal it in with some more UV resin. So I'm pouring about a nickel size amount and we're going to spread it on again like we did all the other layers. This is just a stainless steel stir stick that I like to use to stir my resin with. We wanna make sure we get all the way clear to the edge. Once I get this all spread on nicely, I let it sit for a couple minutes to smooth itself out. I'll hit it with my torch really quick to pop any bubbles. And again, we put it under our UV light for a couple minutes to cure. Once we're done with our keychain blank, I am going to install the keychain hardware. It's pretty self-explanatory. I prefer to use the jump rings that come with my keychain hardware rather than the jump rings that come in packs. I will link all the ones that I use down below in the description box. I'm also gonna add this cute little pink leather tassel that I got from Platinum Moose Beads. I will link them down below too. But I'm gonna take the little lobster claw thing off because I don't really need it. So I'm going to attach it with its own jump ring 
directly to my keychain ring here to kind of make it look more like it's included with the set. Remember to always close your jump rings like opening them up side to side. Don't pull them apart so that they're easier to put back together. And that's it. So super easy project to do. I absolutely love how this turned out. You can put the NFC tags in molds too. I want to demonstrate how this still works even through all those layers of UV resin and metallic glitter. So again, we just tap our top of our phone to it and it pulls up our website. Anybody can do this with your tag. They don't need the app to do it, okay? And even like you don't need your camera open either. So the NFC reader just opens it from the top of the phone. It doesn't have to come into direct contact with it either. Uh, so I just test mine several times to make sure everything's working good. Um, be sure to Google Linktree and set up your Linktree if you're a small business and you want to keep all your links in one place. It makes life super simple. There's a lot of different services that do that same thing. So whatever works best for you. Um, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you like my video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.